Your child has persistent primitive reflexes. What does that mean? What on earth are primitive reflexes and what does it mean that my child has them? My name is Christian Flutter. Welcome to Ask Dr. Christian. Today, we're going to answer that question. So what are primitive reflexes? Primitive reflexes are essentially automatic responses or automatisms that are present at or shortly after birth and are there to help a baby survive. Think about swallowing, for instance. Swallowing is a form of primitive reflex that we have to help us, you know, get food from the outside inside us. Without this one there, it'll be difficult for us to survive. Now, there are many different types of primitive reflex, and they are tied into many different aspects of being a baby. There are some that are tied in with feeding, like your head bobbing, gaping, sucking, rooting. All these types of reflexes help us to get milk into the child. But then there are also survival reflexes. Things like the moron, the grasping reflexes, are tied into survival. Now these reflexes help to set the groundwork for future development of the brain. But what does it mean if I have a persistence of one of these reflexes? Well, here's my son. So this video, you can see my son. You can quite clearly see that he has persistence of some of his primitive reflexes. But what does this mean? What does it mean that he has persistent primitive reflexes going on? Well, it's all about development. See, humans are like ogres. We have many, many layers. And we start off with this very primitive layer. We start off with our brainstem. And it's all about reflexes and responses to the environment around us to help keep us alive. But the movements from these primitive reflexes actually help to drive development of the next part of our brain, the limbic brain, our emotional brain. Now you see this emotional center, it's tied into regulating all the emotions that are going on and at the same time, regulating our autonomic nervous system. Think about when you get scared. When you get scared, you go, oh my goodness, I'm scared. But you also get your heart going a bit faster. You start to breathe a little bit quicker. You get a bit of the sweat going on. This is autonomic regulation that does this. And I call this area our inner two-year-old. So you can see with some two-year-olds, they're starting to regulate emotions. They get scared very easily. And it's all because they have not quite figured out how to regulate some of these uh, actions. So what happens then is we get the next part of our brain kicking in. This put up here, the neocortex, the big brain. And aside from looking after several other functions, you know, decision-making, procedural memory, all that kind of whatnot, it is actually the great inhibitor. See, it helps to calm down those emotional responses and emotional outbursts. It helps to regulate our immune, not our immune system, our autonomic nervous system as well as calming down those primitive responses that happen at the brainstem level. So if I'm getting primitive reflexes coming through, it suggests to me that the great inhibitor is not doing a great job at inhibiting. Now what's really fun is primitive reflexes tend to follow the timeline or more like the Back to the Future timeline as opposed to the Terminator timeline. If you go in there and give a correction to that system, help to inhibit that reflex, it creates almost like that different timeline back to where the body has that normal regulated process. And this, is may, this may be why we see such great responses to movement-based therapies. The movement helps to activate that region of the brain, which will then in turn turn back off that reflex. So if you're a bit concerned about primitive reflexes, or you've been told my child has a persistent primitive reflex, look, you can do a few different tests to see which reflexes may be there. But you know what? It may be worth having a chat to your health professional and seeing what else is going on in their system that may be causing a disruption to that normal development of that great inhibitor. Otherwise, if you have any other questions with primitive reflexes, you can always ask Dr. Christian.